Hello, my wonderful pen friends, and welcome to another To The Point review. Now, I have been talking about this pen or these pens for a, a, a long while because I've had them for several months, but um, this pen is the Diplomat Excellence A+. Plus in the rhombus guilloche pattern. So I've done reviews of the Diplomat Arrow, the Diplomat Excellence, Ever, Excellence A Evergreen, and the Excellence A Skyline, which we just had a get, giveaway of. And with the Skyline, Diplomat, or uh, Points of Distinction, also sent over this pen, which is the Excellence A+. Now, I've never reviewed the A+. There are a lot of similarities between the A, and you can find links over to the, the two reviews of the Excellence A that I've already done. Um, so in this To The Point video, I'm going to just show you the, you know, the differences and some of the comparisons and stuff like that, and, um, and do just a little bit of writing because there's something interesting about this nib that is, is a bit different than what I've done before. So here's the pen. Very different, well, not very different, but somewhat different from what I have seen from Diplomat in the past. This has a really cool matte lacquer finish as opposed to the real high gloss lacquer finish. And then they've gone over that lacquer and etched out these, uh, this rhombus guilloche pattern with a laser. So it's laser etched, I believe. And yeah, that's, uh, that's what I said on, saw on the website. So you've got the little Diplomat logo on the top. You've got this kind of teardrop, or not teardrop shaped, but um, hourglass shaped clip with the teardrop cutout. The difference between this and the other one is this one is spring loaded. So you've got a spring loaded clip here. You've got the, the broad cap band at the bottom. This is Diplomat since 1922 and then made in Germany. Pen tapers down and you've got a little medallion here on the end. Another difference between this and the Excellence A is that this is a, a screw top cap as opposed to a uh, pop top, which the other ones are. Nice on this one, quarter turn and you're out. I love that. I love not having to, to you know, just having a quick, easy, simple release here. So that's really nice. Underneath, you've got a pretty standard section, very similar to what you see on the Diplomat Excellence, and then one of Diplomat's steel nibs. This one's in fine, and this is the first fine nib I have ever used from them. We'll talk a little bit more about the nib in the writing sample. Under that, you've got um, a cartridge converter pen here. Uh, it is metal bodied, so of course you're not going to want to eyedropper it, but it comes with a very high quality, you know, piston style international standard converter. And for those who are curious, the nibs on these uh, diplomats are, I believe, Yovo nibs. I talked with Larry, the owner of Points of Distinction, who is the U.S. distributor, and he mentioned that the, the nibs on these diplomat pens are Yovo nibs. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. This is the Diplomats. Excellence. A plus, and they do do it all caps like that. And this is the Rhombus Guilloche. It was a G-U-I-L-L-O-C-H-E, I think. Yes. Uh, we've got a fine steel nib, and it's a number six size nib. And then we have for the ink, Pelican, ooh, Pelican, Edelstein, Aventurine. Okay, so... I've talked a lot about Diplomat nibs before, and Diplomat's nibs are among, especially their steel nibs, are among some of my favorites on the market today. They're smooth, they're, they're perfectly adjusted, uh, but I've used medium nibs up to this point, and I've never used their fine before, so this is the first fine. And I don't know if this nib is typical of the fine nibs on Diplomat pens or not, but this one is a little bit different than what I was expecting. It's not bad, it's just not the same as the mediums it certainly has more feedback. It is not as smooth as the mediums are. It's a very pleasant pencil-like feedback. It, it actually reminds me a lot of a Sailor nib or a Platinum nib, but you're not getting that buttery smooth quality that I've got with the medium steel and gold nibs that I've tried in the past. It is a miraculous writer. It really is a wonderful writer. It's smooth. It, um, it just doesn't float 
like like a, a you know and it's nice and wet here you can see you've got some good good wetness it's not overly wet the nib is a little bit finer than i would expect for a, a western fine not hugely so but a little bit finer no hard starts no skipping none of that problem so so you know diplomats nibmeisters are are still doing what they do you know i i can't fault them for a bad writing experience it's just not that buttery smooth experience I was used to on the medium nibs that I've used in the past. So overall, you know, I still like the pen a lot. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's got a little bit more heft to it. It can be posted um, and it posts pretty deeply. I don't love this pen posted. It becomes a little heavy and a little back heavy, a little un unbalanced in my book, but it's still a really, really nice writer. I, I just, I have no complaints about the pen at all, really. Oh, we'll do the stupid reverse writing. Great reverse writer. Um, it actually feels almost identical to the, the front way here. Um, so it's, it's a beautiful writer. I just miss a little bit of that smoothness that I used to get with some of their other pens. Now, the Excellence A+, plus, as you might imagine, is a bit of a step up from the Excellence A, and price becomes just a touch of an issue for me here for this pen. Now, it's a metal pen, really cool matte finish, la laser etched, you know, pattern on the surface. You've got the, the spring-loaded clip and the cool screw top cap, which I like, but the list price for this pen is $295. It's $300 for a steel nibbed pen. That's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Now that is the list price. You're not going to find that price. Uh, any retailers that carry Diplomat and have this pen in stock, it will probably be, I'm guessing, at least 20% less than that. And often points of distinction, the US uh, distributor will have 20% off code. You can also find these overseas for less expensive. Um, I don't, you know, obviously here in the States, I'm a big fan of buying from the distributors and the, the retailers here in your, your country of origin because it helps support your local pen industry. And local is great, but at, a, at this price point, it starts to get a little tricky for me to justify a price at $295. So, um, especially for a steel nib. The, you can get a 14 karat gold nib version of this pen, but that, uh, when I checked the website, was $395. So at almost $400, now you're starting to compete with, with you know, Montegrappa and Omas and, uh, not Omas, and uh, some of the Auroras and some of the Pelicans. And I just don't know, I don't know. That seems, a, the, the, the value cost proposition seems a little off to me at that point. I still really like the pen. I just don't know that I could justify buying it at that price point. So anyway, regardless of how much it costs, this is going to be a heck of a giveaway pen. And there is going to be a giveaway for this pen as well. Um, I know the last several reviews I've done have been of pens that people have provided for review and giveaway. And there's a really explicit reason for that. Um, I'm trying to get through my backlog of provided pens uh, because there may be some changes coming here pretty soon. I can't talk about them yet. I've, I've alluded to them in previous videos, but there may be some changes. So I wanted to get all these pens that people have sent me for review out so you guys could have access to the, the pen information. And I'm actually holding off on taking any more pens for review purposes for a little while. Um, so you'll hopefully I'll have some news one way or the other, or I'll get back to doing some, some non-provided uh, reviews as well. So those are going to be coming as well. In the meantime, huge thanks to Points of Distinction for providing this pen for review and giveaway. Keep an eye out on penhabit.com, on the Twitter page, and on the Facebook page. I always announce all the giveaways there in those three places. So that's where you find them. And uh, I may be doing kind of an Uber giveaway here in the not too distant future as well. So just keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on YouTube here in the comment section or over on penhabit.com in the comment section over there. And then I will look forward to seeing you soon for another pen review video. Take care. Have a good one.